Okay, so we've just covered uh, Sontag's theory about the power of photography lying in its ability to be the most accurate of the mimetic arts. More accurate than painting, sculpture, all that kind of stuff. So it convinces us that we're looking at the truth. Yeah, that's what we've got. Cool. All right. So we'll move on. And I want you all to tell me what you see when I hold this up. Okay, what's that? Cool, uh, orange, yeah, orange. All right, everyone's saying an orange, are they? Does everyone agree? Cool, it's an orange. All right. So, if you had never seen or touched or smelt or tasted or anything an orange in real life, and then I showed you this photo, would you then be able to say you knew what a real orange looked like? Yeah? 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 And I, I guarantee that it was a photo of an orange. I, I told you that. But would you, would you be able to say that? Definitely? Yeah, so you're saying this is absolute truth. Okay. So even after all that discussion about Sontag, you guys, when asked what I'm holding in my hand or what you see when I'm holding my hand, you straight away say, an orange. Why did no one say that I'm holding something else in my hand? What else am I holding in my hand? Well, actually, what am I holding in my hand? Yeah, a photo, a photo. I'll read you a quote from Roland Barthes. Whatever it grants to vision and whatever its manner, a photograph is always invisible. It's not it we see. So after all this discussion, you guys still did not see the photo. You saw what the photo's power was, its ability to make you think. You now know what an orange looks like. Cool.